Hey guys, welcome to the Valley Cast. Before we get started, I just want to remind you guys that this new year, let's focus on what's truly important to you and let HelloFresh take care of dinner with fresh, pre portioned ingredients and recipes delivered right to your door. You get 16 free meals plus three gifts with code valleycast16 at hellofresh.com slash valleycast16. That's 16 free meals plus three gifts with code valleycast16 at hellofresh.com slash valleycast16. Hey, how cool is that? All right, well, let's get to the show. Happy holidays, guys. All right. Let me start it up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's sorry. okay. Sorry, it's my bad. I just jumped on it. I'm so sorry. You got excited. That's okay. I'm excited. We got Nick Hamilton here. I mean, what the fuck? Don't feel like watching movies, so I'll watch people guess them instead. I don't know how it goes. I think it starts with your show. Hey guys, welcome to the Valley Cast. Uh, we are once again remote. Uh, it's the holidays, you know, we're trying to be safe. The Comic Con variant is making its way around town, and everyone's getting it, and it's scary. And, uh, you know, whatever. We're all gonna the die. But we have a special. Con. We've got. Comic Con. <laughs> we got a special guest today. Nicholas Hamilton's here. Uh, <laughs> Nick. Uh. I love you, buddy. I, you're I a good you, friend. I, I miss you. I just saw you in on the East Coast. We got to spend yes. some time together in person. That was nice. Just before things got real I bad over there. I didn't hear about that. I didn't know you guys caught up. That's great. Yeah. We caught up and saw each other. I we did. That. We we uh, Nicholas came to our uh, Brooklyn show. So did Darren Von Gerner. DVG was there. DVG. Aw. Nice. Yeah. Aww. Was it was it was quite a reunion of familiar and wonderful faces, and uh, Nick came on onto the stage and he came <laughs> all over the place and he came everywhere, dude. He came everywhere and he uh, did a bit on the stage, a couple of bits. It was great, and then we Too went to bits? we went to uh, the oddity. Uh, flea market where I bought that frog, the taxidermy frog, Ooh. and you were there yeah. when I got it. Yeah, did that you, was fun. Steve, did you see the the taxidermy frog that they said Steve might like this on our Reddit? No, no. Should I look? Yeah. Go look at the Reddit page right now, and then if you can bring up that picture for absolutely, I'll bring it all. Up. They would all enjoy it. Nick, you're a New York boy. How do you I'm, like New York? I'm loving New York, Joe, and uh, it's very Christmassy, and it's very uh, it's, it's six day. It's uh, like seventy degrees in December. So uh. that's <laughs> That's Which real good. <laughs> kind, of, oh, wow. kind of warm, actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Did you rock a feller center? Did you have you? Did you Tomorrow. go to the ice skating rink? Yeah. So excited! I'm so oh. excited to do all the Christmas stuff. We've got we've got a Christmas day planned tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna center. share. That's very, very fun. excited. I'm like gonna sh I'm gonna share my screen. Everyone, shut up! I'm gonna share my screen, uh, so that you guys can see this. Uh, so Joe said uh, that someone posted in the uh, in the Valley Folk subreddit a funny taxidermy image so i'm going to share that with you guys you guys tell me when you see it oh God, fuck me oh, sorry <laughs> hang on. sorry let me close that's these not, steve uh, that's, that's not sorry taxi. hang on let me close that's, these. no no that's not what i oh, asked sorry let me do. close these tabs sorry that's not hang on what, this is, wait really that sorry, many tabs steve. <laughs> sorry, there's Mike, so many steve. sorry guys. like a lot of tabs sorry mike that's a lot of my sorry, kid guys. is on the other side okay here we go here we go there it is God. Isn't that funny? Look how funny. Uh, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a. Uh, <laughs> that's great. It's a Donatello taxidermy. It's frog. a, it's a taxidermy. <laughs> <laughs> they drew white eyes on the, on the headband. There's so uh, many. There were so many. <laughs> what are you talking about, Nick? That was unbelievable. What are you talking about? Oh, fuck. I'm super turned on now. <laughs> I'm genuinely turned on. Holy shit. Well, really, I know. Really it's a good looking frog. Oh, good really looking, good frog. looking frog. I want to take this opportunity to say make sure that you're, um, you know, Excellent. supporting and paying <laughs> sex workers. Uh, you know, they're, they've got a job to do too. And, you know, there's a, there was like a sex worker awareness kind of day, I guess. 
this week and I it was uh, you know it's always if you watch it's always it looked like you were doing a lot of supporting there. If yeah, you watch porn kind of ten or, tabs of support. Here's the thing, guys. We live in a society where porn is free and you can get it for free and it's wonderful. But you know, these there's real people working on these videos and and if you enjoy masturbating and um touching yourself uh to porn then you know it's nice to give back especially this holiday season so definitely you know find a way to support a sex worker in some way this season Nick, i have a question um <laughs> can, can we get out of this i have you come across any um rough and tumble new yorkers you know because i've heard people in that city can be quite Ooh, a little tough in edges. new york yeah. a little tough any, like, a little tumbly yeah a little tough and tumbly hey get out of my way or something yeah hey like I, I, i'm on i'm this is where i am right now yeah, like, um, this is yeah, here, I, 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 I don't care if you were in you that, out, that I'm movie here. yeah i'm currently here you watch out because i'm right here right now hey i'm that. right here excuse me i'm here new york <laughs> um is yes. that how it happened is a uh i've got a story about this um uh woman who i was walking through times square with my airpods in and uh this woman approached me and said excuse me sir in the middle of times square and i uh did what i've was have been taught to oh, do which yeah. is put my head down and keep walking because you're not meant to when someone approaches you in times square you just kind of you just book it. Yeah. You just keep going. And as soon as she realized I was ignoring her, she said uh, the following sentence, and I'll pull it up. She said, Just porn. Oh, well, I guess you're as dumb as you look, you dumb fucking f looking piece of shit. And that's Whoa. maybe that's a bit New York. Maybe that's, that's a bit New York. That's a bit wow. rough and tumbly. Tough and Man, tumbly. That's really? You really answered that question with exactly what I was hoping for, and thank you very yeah. much. And I'm sorry. Yeah, that well, happened look, to ask any question, and I'll give you the answer. You know. Yeah, Whew. and that's just what did kind you say of in, in return. Yeah. Oh, I kept going. I think. Yeah. I you know, I she had an still didn't get your attention. <laughs> no. I had a, an altercation with someone in a parking lot yesterday, and it was the weirdest altercation I've ever had because I was walking out and they were uh i was walking behind their car and it was a prius and i thought maybe it was not turned on because i couldn't hear it you know how priuses are so i continued to walk past it didn't see any reverse lights and he, he started to back up and he started to to hit me a little bit and i kind of tapped his car or whatever and i was parked right next to him and so i kind of approached you know to get in my car and he rolls down his window and we went back and forth for a little bit and he was like you know that's why you don't uh, that's why you don't walk pat and I go hey man it's okay it's fine he goes that's why you don't walk behind cars I was like yeah 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 it's fine I was like it's totally cool and he goes you know it's just like that's what that's what happens and I go hey man <laughs> apology accepted and he goes well yeah you you could end up under the car and then I said good one and then we both kind of laughed and just went like left like it was the weirdest <laughs> like we didn't we weren't very angry but we were I was definitely being an asshole and he was a little bit of an asshole and so uh it was just a little Christmas cheer for me cheer. <laughs> Dude, but he didn't go hey you dumb effing uh slur 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 at me yeah, yeah. It's LA. <clears throat> yeah, it's yeah, they're nicer in LA. That's what people say. I'm gonna plug my computer and I'll be right back. And you know, Nick, just so everybody knows, uh you um uh, you you are um a homosexual man. Yes, I can say it. That's I should say that uh, I can say it. So, you know, just in case people get there's some people that are a little confused yes. why that word was so flippantly uh thrown out there but also i'm sorry that's that's kind of that's definitely that's like a hate crime no 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 it, i i don't saw think so? it because she was probably it's seeming seemingly homeless maybe drugged up i wouldn't like i wouldn't say it was like an a conscious okay okay uh, all right yeah i think I, i'm i see it as a funny joke to say on the valley cast okay and I like that, and I appreciate that. I think. Let we me all say it again. It. Oh well, I guess you're as dumb as you look. You dumb fucking <laughs> looking piece of shit. Damn. And wow. that's just. It hurts my feel. It hurts my feelings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. Guys, can I share? Uh, Did that I... ruin the day? Did you? Go, no, no. Be... I do walk so hard, Joe. I, oh, really? I thought it was so funny. <laughs> I yeah, it was Nick's the a good sport. That, you I, I thought it was the funniest thing that anyone's ever said directly to my face. Well, like, <laughs> I think I, you know, and I'm glad that that's your that's your reaction to that. I think that's yeah, well. you know, because you know that person wasn't, oh, you know, something's wrong with that person. Yeah, not mentally fit. 
I can't think of the last time I had like even like Elliot, what you're talking about, a random public altercation where it came to like even the slightest of angry words with somebody. And the last time might have been when I was in New York when that guy huh? when I asked that guy <laughs> about the Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah. What he said. Uh, I can't even remember it verbatim. We've talked about it before, but I was just like, I, I can't even remember. It, it was it, just a little. It had yeah. some uh, some sourness to it. But it, it had wasn't some sourness. Anything sure. It was just kind of like, like a, a "Don't talk to me, you dumb fuck. Why are you talking to me?" type of right. delivery in his voice, where I was taken back just a little bit. Yep. I thought One you were those. like asking about the parade or something, and something he was like, like that. "Yeah, it's all over. It's the <laughs> New York parade." <laughs> 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 yeah, he did not like me asking Fuck. an obvious question in the moment. <laughs> okay, okay, got it. Okay, bye. But, um, but, it, but it also made me feel like I was welcome in the city. Mm. <laughs> Brought it full circle. Did it make you feel welcome? <laughs> it, well, it made me be like, oh, yeah, okay, this is New York. I get it. it now. All right, good. Yeah. Hey, I'm in New York here. Yep. It was good. Isn't that how that goes? Hey, I'm in. Hey, I'm in New York today. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Nick, I'm glad you're here on the show. I was talking to the guys like you, you, uh, you've been doing this like really cool thing on, uh, on TikTok lately that, uh, we've all been really enjoying. And I, to mm. I told the boys to check it out that you've been doing these, like, you know, of course, for those of you that are like, who the fuck is this kid? You go mm. look him up, Google the boy. He's in really cool shit. And we, you know, he's a good man, and uh, we love him very much, you know. And that is what happened, is what I'm saying. But, uh, That's what but uh, Nick, you've you've been doing some really cool TikToks. I want to share those. But first, Elliot shared a of a TikTok that we should look at really, really quickly, and then we could jump into what that. <laughs> Steve, is. if it is, Steve, if it is, <laughs> what? What do you if do? It is. What do you mean Steve. if it is? What are you talking about? You're gonna do more of the thing. No, you I'm do not gonna do. Come on, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna I, I know. Eyes, Come on. I'm gonna avert my eyes. Why? You guys can tell me if it is. I'm just gonna. Sh Elliot sent this TikTok that's really cringy and strange, and we would <laughs> like to. You, we would love to see that stalling. TikTok. That's what we're doing. Yeah, that's I can't wait to see Let me know if you guys can see it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Sorry. Hold on. Let me. Oh, oh these get so many. Sorry. Sorry. How did you get so? Oh no! no. I'm sorry. Hold no, on. No. Sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. No. No. Again. No. Again. No. It's guys. more. I'll be honest. Oh, okay. Hey, there's the okay. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. You guys see this? Yeah. Sorry. I had some tabs open and I my mistake. Oh, this is not. Uh, so this is really strange and uh, an uncomfortable feeling. You guys see this? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, here I'll turn on. Let me turn off the Christmas music too. Merry Christmas. Merry uh, Christmas, Nick. There. La, 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 la. Merry Christmas. Something's wrong, or? What the? Oh, I just went into first person mode. All right, just here we go. Okay. Who's in first person mode? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about that. <laughs> okay, here it is. It's a weird TikTok Elliot found, and this is how it goes. No. No. Um, now, what do you guys think of that? It's got to be. It's got to be. Yeah, I want it to be fake, but I don't know. If, I don't think it is. I think that's so totally real. I did some real. research. Uh, I did my own research. No, that's and, not fake. Uh, it's not fake. Uh, and for the, for our audio listeners, it is a TikTok I found uh, on Reddit r slash facepalm, and it is a new mother dancing while uh, using captions that say that her new baby has tested positive for RSV, and then the captions continue to explain how she is. Uh, waiting on the baby to be able to breathe on its own. Um, and she's wearing a Nirvana. A she's wearing a Nirvana sweater. She's wearing sweater. a Nirvana sweater, and <laughs> yeah. she's dancing around her unwell baby. So I, like that I look, kisses looked her up uh, on TikTok, and I found that she does these types of videos kind of all the time. No. And she has an adoring audience. Uh, oh, no, uh, dude. Really loves her and says Is it goals. Satire? It is apparently not. That's insane. Um, wow. One TikTok was her spray painting pink hairspray on her son and then telling her husband that she dyed the son's hair pink. You know, stuff like that. Stuff um, that's seemingly innocent, but. It's clout, using your family for clout. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Using your yeah. children for clout. Exactly. Do you think that baby um, is going to grow up to be 
happy about that. <laughs> I worry about it, you know. Uh, <laughs> eventually, it's going to be Would you be happy with it, Steve? Mm. I would. I mean, I guess if it got good views, well, I. <laughs> that's a good point. And then I think, yeah. So maybe the baby <laughs> will be thrilled. Wow. Uh, uh, but I wanted to thank you for sharing that, Elliot, because it is a <laughs> reminder that the <laughs> internet uh, has some truly interesting things to see. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow! And uh, that's quite a quite a thing that exists. <laughs> What's the mindset you got to be in? Be uh, like, I got to make sure I s- still get a TikTok out on this day. Well, it's interesting because it's this like specific day in the dancing, the dance, the joyful. I mean, to me, dancing <laughs> to with, me. juxtaposed with the very sad information about the baby yeah. is jarring on like a soul level well and you know that there's people watching that and they're like yes more power to you girl Mm. get your dance on get your love on your child is gonna be okay and they love it and they share it with their family on facebook and shit and when in reality if you zoom out from that it's like there's so much wrong with it there's so yeah. much wrong with it. It's like what, what is think? it's like those old what is wrong with this picture things, you know? Where it's like mm. what's the, what's what doesn't belong here? What happened yeah. to Elliot? You find something else? What happened, do you think? <laughs> what is he showing us here? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, more... No Shut no up. no no no! Don't dance around! <laughs> Don't newborn dance around! Ja- I've newborn. never seen. <laughs> I've never seen the words "newborn jaundice" on the screen and a woman dancing. Dancing like uh, happily dancing. I think. Newborn I jaundice. think I'm becoming a fan. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of happy about it. Actually. Hey, look, you whatever like curveballs life throws you. You know, sometimes you should just. Dance it out, you know? It's gonna be okay. <laughs> I mean, oh, look, man, fine. here's the thing. It's okay, it is okay. Like dancing yeah, it's is, fine. it's, and I think what she's doing <laughs> is what? <laughs> Finish the sentence. What is she doing, Steve? You think really that she, what she's doing is? What she's doing is brave. Ah. <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm sharing door, your screen again. Uh oh, uh oh, someone's knocking at Nick's door. We're gonna, we're gonna oh, hopefully man. point it at what the is, door what so if we it was can her? see. She comes in, and she's just like <laughs> dancing on Nick's screen. Oh my god, she's brought her baby in like a fucking iron lung, like a. <laughs> it's, just... <laughs> it's like the, you know what it's god. like. It's like those pictures that you see that are always disturbing to me. Ooh, what's this? Somebody got some lunch. Special some sp- Grubhub. Special delivery. It's a. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've got a uh, a good segue, I guess now. Oh yeah. Okay. Nice jazz. Oh, great. You can turn that jazz on. That's lovely. Steve. Yes, I absolutely. Saw the bar behind you. Uh... Um, yeah, it's a it's a it's a bit of a bar behind me, and I forgot that I've ordered some more. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so this is a really good segue because now it's we can talk segue. about these uh these tiktoks you've been up to so you're you're a handsome lad and a well-dressed uh person and you've decided to combine those benefits and to to create these uh alcohol mixing tiktok videos like hey come join me i'm gonna mix together some drinks and it's very pleasant and it's wonderful and it's like fun to watch you do this thank you uh and i question yeah right off the bat number one Nick, did you have a plan to do multiples or did you just do one on a whim and you saw that it did all right? And you're like, no, I thought about this the other day. I, so I was going out to, uh, it was the opening night of uh, Doubtfire on Broadway with a friend. uh, And I had to like dress really nice. I was dressed really nice. Was uh, Robin Williams there? Yes. Yeah. He was, yeah. Yeah. In spirit. spirit. Oh, Uh, that's weird. What do you mean? Robin Williams was actually on the uh, manifest for the. Uh... <laughs> Stop it! Oh, Stop it! Nick, go ahead. Sorry. I was, I was headed out to the opening night of Doubt for Umbro, which is a great, phenomenal show. If you get to see it before COVID kills us all, um, uh, it's a great show. But uh, I had to wear something fancy, and then I also wanted a pre-drink. 
so I was like, I look fancy enough that I'd think people would want to maybe see this, uh, or at least I would want to see myself. So I made it, you know? <laughs> can't waste this. No, can't waste what I look like. And then I made it uh, and edited it on the train into the musical, posted it, and then uh, it got like 1.5 million views uh, just that night. It's stupid, like a stupid wow. amount of- So we should look at night. that one, shouldn't we? Like I mean, the, that's, the that's the first that's, one. The yeah, one that that's started it all. Sure. Uh, so you then, stumbled into it. This was a good totally stumble. stumbled into it, and then I did one after that that did as well, and I was like, I guess this is a thing, and I just kept doing it. Wow, you're the uh, drink guy now, and you're gonna have to go to bar yeah. school and just like yeah, I've been I like I guess I've learned I've been learning for the last like three years all this like kind of education on drink making. I've had this bar for three years since I moved to LA, um, and I've like I just love doing it. It's a passion of mine. Uh, so like I've got all this knowledge that now I, can, I guess I can like show people. That's great. Um, which I'm very excited about doing. Um, but I made like eight now. I think well over half of them have a million views each. It's a stupid, stupid thing that's happening, and I love it. That's Imagine very cool. Imagine if you had some sort of sick baby, you know? Yeah, and then I could be dancing. And- <laughs> I know, then you, you could be could making collab. drinks around a sick baby. Yeah. <laughs> There's just Whoa, <laughs> It reminds yeah. me of those fucking Dude, photos. You could collab. She could be like, ah. Oh. Yeah, my my kids got scoliosis, and then I've got a drink for that. To you, yeah, and you're like that 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 showing how to make an old fashioned. You can make a. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what if she gets like invited to events and she brings her baby in like a big Dude. bubble, like a big like medical <laughs> bubble? She like brings it. It's my baby here at the premiere of the new Marvel movie. No way. No way. <laughs> my God. All right, let me share the screen here. Tell me if you guys see it. Um, oh, thank you. Scene. You guys see this? Okay, and we see this handsome lad here, and let's re- great let's, outfit. I mean, let's refresh that Taylor, this. That Taylor jacket. And fancy, it is a Taylor jacket. Uh, is it Taylor Swift? It is Taylor's jacket. Taylor Swift. <laughs> it is Taylor Swift. <laughs> Was that tailored pretty fast, or? Taylor pretty swift. Okay, hang on, let me boost the volume here for you kids, and then here we go. We're gonna do this, and what a lovely piece of music you've chosen there too. Thank you. I, make a drink. And I look fancy because I'm going out uh, to a fancy thing, so I'm gonna make a drink. Ooh. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. He's so young, very young, well, well, well dressed, fit, handsome, attractive Turning man. I make a, uh, a martini negro today. Starts off with. So a, I kept uh, saying martini. Out Instead of margarita. Yeah, you really blew it on this deal? first one. Yeah, that's because I said it twice. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's, oh, really, it's incredible, incredible that it took <laughs> off. Yeah. I can't believe I it. With so, yeah, so many mistakes. Sure. Imagine how many views yeah, it would have if, if I didn't serve it. If you didn't fuck, fuck up. up, yeah. Tequila with coffee, which isn't, you know, obvious. But uh, it's actually used a lot in... Um, Tequila and coffee yeah. in this drink. I like this is, accent uh, that you've chose in this one. Thank you. Thank you. It's adds a child. Don't question. It's a little off, doing- but you'll get there. It's so he. I love. I. Uh, you're just so. It's so, like calming and yeah, wonderful. Yeah. And and uh, and how many of these have you done now? You did. Uh, this is, I think I've done fancy, like eight now. I think. I think. Sorry. Let me. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm. I'm having trouble here. Okay. All right. Well now. We, all right. Well now we're just watching. I, now, I, don't, I don't know where to go with, with all this. <laughs> Here we go. We can watch this one. Let's watch this one. Sure. Pina Colada. Uh, a moist healing song from Nez Tunes. Oh, yeah. You're always well dressed. You always look nice. Let's just get a cold drink. Nice and white and that makes sense. calm. <laughs> Let's do it. It starts with rum. It calls for white rum. I really want to use my Hamilton rum. I really, really, really nice and white. Nice and white. Nice and white. So, another drink for another day. For now. I like those three. glasses. Halloween. So, are you getting a lot of uh, tension from your style in these? Uh, the way that you look? And, uh... I, it's the, the ones that do the best are the ones where I'm dressed nicely. Yeah. Uh, which is like, I, I don't hate that it kind of forces me to dress in a nice way. Like I'm, yeah. this is kind of what I normally wear on a normal basis. And then when I make those videos, I have to wait until the sun goes down. Oh, I'll cool. start dress, I'll dress in like a nice thing. And like, it, it kind of makes me feel good anyway. Yeah, You're cornering. You... Oh, go ahead, Elliot. I was, um, your comment's going to be better, but I was going to ask if you're getting dressed, doing it, and then getting undressed, because that is the digital creator that's way. That's a good I, question. I it, it's, uh, it's uh, I drink it naked, yes, That's is, uh, if that's what you're asking. Amazing. Nice. You are, you are setting you drink yourself it naked? up. 
I mean, that's just. Well, we found the title. That's a title for the Drinking episode. It Naked. Drinking, Drinking it, it Naked Nick. with Nick, Nick Hamilton. There you yeah. go. That's like the follow up TikTok that you can do. You're you're cornering a market for yourself that is going to be so brilliant because you will inevitably have high end fashion and alcohol sponsors knocking on your door. That's what I was going to say. That's you the could, plan, you man. could you could capitalize cuz I was saying like when you first started doing this, I was like, "Oh dude, you could get like alcohol companies on board with this sending you booze and then you're going to get like sponsorships and you know what that is? Second income, bitch. Yeah, Bring in that in- side coin. <laughs> only <Especially> income. <laughs> Woo! <Woo-woo. Yeah. laughs> the primary and only. <laughs> Listen, but uh, hey, and then, but I didn't even think about the fashion aspect of it. Like you yeah. could really turn it. the fashion part of it into something too. Yeah, absolutely. That'd be awesome. And I'd as someone who knows some people who have made alcohol a really big part of their brand, it has absolutely no downside when you're in your 30s. Let's go ahead. <laughs> 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 well, I, I figured Elliot. So Elliot was our resident booze guy, kind of, for a while. Yeah. Like you, like you were a connoisseur. I had the bar. A, a connoisseur. Yeah, you owned that bar that was called Elliot's Place in uh, in Tampa, mm-hmm. and I thought that was yeah. pretty cool. Mm-hmm. It, was uh, pretty, it was nice. Charming. It was nice. Yeah, I couldn't make it. I never went, but uh, okay. it it looked really cool in all the photos and shit. Um, that it's an ice skating uh, rink now. No shit. Is it? Well, that's yeah. nice in Florida. That's a, that's interesting, but it melts uh, a lot. Uh, but Elliot, like, do, do like, what are your thoughts on that? Like, this is this is such a. I feel like this is your, this is I your kind it. of thing. Like, I feel like it's something you will follow. Like, you want to see this. I am taking inspiration mostly from the well dressed aspect. Mm-hmm. I think it is. You're just mm-hmm. the outfits alone are pleasant to look at. Visually, you have the purple light in the background. Mm-hmm. Aesthetically. You can't go wrong. You got that face, that beautiful face, that young <laughs> Kevin Bacon look. Gorgeous. That, lung, that yeah, gorgeous man. That's you. It's you. No, no, Nick. It's you. <laughs> Nick, we're talking about you. Hey, Nick, 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 no, Nick we're you. over here, buddy. It's not how you sit on a chair, <laughs> Nick. <laughs> Oh. Nick's a, <laughs> he's trying to crack his back. Where'd you guys go? <laughs> Where'd you guys go? <laughs> yeah, uh, but Nick, it's really cool and fun. And uh, what do you do? You want to talk about like where you see? I mean, I know it's so preliminary, but this is really That's how so new, dude. This, like, you, you, yeah, you can have know. special guests come in and like do the yeah. drink with them. Like you, you and DVG Darren Von Gurdner live in the same. City oh my area now I'd and love he's for, a uh, burgeoning tiktok star come in and make a drink with him yeah if tvg made like a one of his fucking awesome looking aesthetic videos yeah just with alcohol I'd I'm, I'd love yeah i mean you truly this is how this kind of thing gets started like i've seen people do this kind of niche thing and it really takes off awesome. Nick, if I'm, Joe I mean, Beretta, I'd like to yes sorry go ahead go ahead if Joe Beretta, no, you go ahead. If, no, you go ahead. I'll well, sit down. Merry Christmas. Two ounces of water. <laughs> if Joe up. Beretta was a cocktail, Nicholas. <laughs> oh. How would you make him? Please, make me the cocktail. I, don't, I, I, I mean, I don't want to be like, uh, I think it's a, such a basic answer, but I think you're like a really well-aged bourbon old-fashioned. Ooh. Oh, nice. I like that. Like you're a, like you're a barrel-aged, multiple-year uh, bourbon. Old fashioned. Yeah. yeah, Joe's right. definitely multiple year. Really? <laughs> yeah. Multiple year, at least 40 year, 50 year. Uh-huh. This is fun. It hurts. I like it. Uh, <laughs> do Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> just ah. bitters. <laughs> Elliot's just yeah, a glass full of bitters. <laughs> oh, it One does sugar hurt a cube. Bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. No, I, yeah, I kind of realize how it hurts a little bit. I feel like I'd be kind of a virgin colada or like a Shirley Temple or something. Well, you don't. You drink a lot of rum and cokes, Steve. So well, I'd I wouldn't say, say a lot, but that is the drink I choose. If you drink, yeah, more if you drink, over. it's going to be a, a rum and coke. So I'd say uh, maybe I am um, using instead of coke a, uh, a Mexican cola, Ooh. and then uh, with some Cointreau and some uh, and some like really really nice rum. I reckon. Like I that. do like that mezcal, whatever that is. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like mezcal? Wow, you do. What is that? Mezcal is like smoked tequila. Did you just think of a word and say it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. It's fun, Steve. Uh, oh, no, Steve. No, it's Kim. too much. It's too much. Um, Poor Kevin. Was, when he edits this, he's going to just an, be... 
There was one of those. <laughs> one of those was the end of it. You notice that? One of those. Yeah, one of those was, the, was end of the end of it. <laughs> um, oh. But man, I love that you. I love that you're doing this, Nick. I think it's really cool and fun, and uh, you know, as well as being an up and coming uh, big movie star. Cause you know, we were just talking about you the other day and uh, we were like, man, Nick's really gonna like, just be a big star someday. Like he's gonna be in like big, big movies probably. Like you already have, so, but. but we were, I'm, I'm simultaneously excited and scared for you. Yeah, I'm scared for me too, but I'm, I'm along for the ride. I can't, I have no uh, real say in, in what, success comes my way I, I, just mm-hmm. have to... I know no one does but it seems like you've got you definitely got that nice clean look jesus uh, you got nice that look that people look. want you want you got that look that they want <laughs> can't talk steve, like that steve. See, steve was on the manifest uh <laughs> Are you getting Fuck. are you getting the theater bug being in New York and going to all Dude, these shows? I saw when I saw Doubtfire, I was it's the first time I've watched something where I've I've really genuinely wanted to be a part of it. I'm not a huge like if I watch anything on in on Broadway, it's gonna be a musical. <clears throat> I, I watched um To Kill a Mockingbird with Jeff Daniels. Oh, how uh, was that? Wow. It was like it was like seeing To Kill a Mockingbird with Jeff Daniels. Like it was yeah. great, but slow as fuck. It's a play, it's three hours long. Like you're gonna be, you know. You're not going to be fully enthralled the entire time. Yeah, there's a difference between those <laughs> plays boring. and those musicals. And the yeah. plays are the ones that are kind of a showcase of writing and uh, acting and stuff. Acting. Yeah, and I, yeah. Like that's and like they're written. I think a lot of plays are written for Tonys, and I get that. Like he's uh, Jeff Daniels. I think he's already Tony, Tony nominated for it. Which, like, yeah, of course, of course, of course he is. Uh, but I think um, I saw Doubtfire, and I think yeah, I think I'd love to at least like try my hand in. Um, in auditioning for him, I think it'd be sick. I've, I've never really ever done that before in my life. Yeah, that'd be really cool, dude. No, I support I that sick. fully. Well, thank you. You're welcome. You are we support welcome. it. We'll never go, but we support it. I hope Absolutely. you win, Nick. Well, Merry Christmas, dude. What are you? Uh, what are you up <laughs> to this holiday listening. season? Are you going home for? Uh, <laughs> are you going home for the holidays? Yeah, I'm going all the way home, Steve. Don't go all the way home. What <laughs> is that? The new Spider-Man way. movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh are you are you staying in uh you're staying on the east coast this, yeah i figured i mean i moved here mainly for the christmas stuff so it's like yeah uh and it's so far i mean i'm australian that's so far mm-hmm. yeah um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good with being here and, and then you I want to get do stuck some, there <laughs> yeah it's very like a likely thing yep. that could happen now everything's yep. closing back down there over there so we're uh i'm gonna hole up in my apartment probably for christmas day but then try and do something uh maybe new year's maybe do a, a Times square new year's thing just gonna try and do all the cliche shit that's fun how do you make man friends nick mm-hmm. how do you make friends you know people when you moved out there did you, you have, I, uh... I have a base out here so i filmed a movie in pennsylvania cool. just before i came out here and a lot of my cast mates from that movie are from here but uh New York's one of those places, man, you can like, you go out to bars and you talk to the person next to you and they actually kind of want to talk to you. Yeah. Whereas like LA, I think you have to kind of genuinely, like it's, it's few and far between people who genuinely want to like talk to strangers. Whereas it's if the like best. you're at a bar, like you can meet good friends. Like I've got some good friends now who own the bar down the street that I'm a big fan of. Um, and I just, yeah, I'm just like, I'm, I'm, uh, it's a lot easier to be, friendly with people here i think because people are just used to being around everyone else are you going to do any of these tiktoks inside the, that bar Ooh. dude i'd love to Ooh, they, uh, a bar something, sponsorship something that really excites me which i'm not sure i can uh talk about fully but what the owner of the of the bar now knows that because of the tiktoks that i make drinks they uh right now it's a christmas bar all the way until the end of december and then january 1st it's a regular bar and they've asked me maybe i could uh Formulate some of the tricks for the menu and the regular, which would be fucking sick. Dude. That's fancy. So cool. that's, that's fancy. An absolute dream for me. First of yeah. all, okay, two things. It, First of all, Christmas bar is totally a thing in New York. You guys heard we of were these things? Blown away yeah. when we were there for the the Valley Folk show. Yeah, we started this was incredible. not we just walked something into a couple we random knew. bars. Yeah, uh-huh. things that just they go get, to town. They go to town. They make so them sick. nice Christmas bars because you know it snows and stuff, and that's nice when you. Go in and get a nice hot toddy or like a you know cocoa and warm up by the fire. 
uh, but but I love there's Christmas bars. And number two, you could I feel like you could do like appearances at bars. You know what I mean? Like appear at a bar, and then you could have like a little meetup or something, or Maybe. like a little I'm little not... sign sign something. Kind of. I'm talking about way down the road. I'm yeah, not talking about right not now. now. I'm talking yeah. about we're we're see. down the dusty road. This uh, acting things going to shit. The the uh, broad, the Broadway things never gonna happen. The musical <laughs> like going on stage never gonna. And you're just like, where can I get my next coin? Mm. Uh, you could totally really do, scraping the barrel. Just probably. scrape it. Yeah, thank you. No shame in scraping the barrel, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> aged <laughs> barrel. Terrible. Just yeah. Going uh, through every worst case scenario to get to <laughs> just to support your idea. Uh, uh, so I found I've been I've been kind of browsing Ask Reddit lately uh, because it's such a fun subreddit uh, that where you can learn quite a few things. And uh, I pulled up some some Ask Reddits if you guys want to uh, go through some of these. Obviously, we'll keep talking to Nick about stuff he's up to and things like that. Or if you guys have a topic, we don't have like to, to do that about. at all. Uh, good, because I didn't want to actually. Well, but uh, but if we did, uh, if we did do more, it'll be later and it'll be more natural than it w- <laughs> has been so far. Uh, so fuck you, uh, Steve. Nick, Nick. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> I love you, Nick. Okay, you, so. What you guys, unless you guys have a topic, anybody else has a topic they want to bring up? Mm-mm. Okay, well, to do it. Think about it. But for now, I have three potential ask reddits we could read about and talk about here. One of them is, what movie should have had a sex scene? Another one is, what's a scary fact you know about the ocean? And another, and finally, and this one might be a little more uh, of a downer, but it's so fascinating. This is the one I was talking about on the last show, and I I didn't get to it. But what's the scary truth that humanity has to accept? Hmm. I have an answer for the sex scene. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's do that one first. So uh, this so movie is devoid of a sex scene. No sex scene, and it should have had a sex, sex scene. scene. Yeah. Okay. UHF. yeah dude (laughs) yes (laughs) that's really good have you seen UHF Nick I I doubt Nick's seen that it's starring uh, Weird Al Yankovic Mm -hmm. oh good it's a movie from the late 80s and And Michael Richards Michael Richards yeah and Michael Richards yes and Victoria Jackson Jackson yeah yeah wow yeah yep yep so wait is the sex scene uh, between Weird Al and Victoria mm-hmm. Jackson, or is it he's flipping through the UHF channels and we get like a porno parody a la Weird Al Yankovic? Mm, very funny. That's, that's good. a very funny idea, Joe. That's, well, that's a very fun. He, can I chime in? Because I think I think Weird Al is uh, one thing throughout Weird Al's career that has held true is that there's not really much sex sexual humor really Mm -hmm. like it not a really not an ounce really not not really and and i and if there is it's like kind of subtle or or really not about sex and and he's really Mm -hmm. stayed away from that i guess but Mm -hmm. uh but seeing like a mcgruber style sex scene in uhf with weird al and someone else would be very funny and would have been very good um, but I guess, yeah, if we were going to put a sex scene in that movie, it would totally be well, uh, like on one of the stations. It mm-hmm. would be like sex with Sammy. He's like, okay, today we're going to show you how to have sex or something. And then they, he changes the channel or, or something before it yep. happens or something. But um, uh, the top uh, post or the top comment on this Ask Reddit says, Cars. The movie Cars yeah. should have had a sex scene. Yeah, I'd like to know says, how that happened. Exactly. It says, yeah. I never understood how they fucked yeah. or how new cars were born. Mm. I, I thought I, I had that same thought. Like, where are they coming from? Like, what's happening? And are, are there baby cars in cars? Are they smaller? Or I they believe the same there size? are. Yeah, there are baby cars, aren't there? Are they, are they, are they small cars? Because that wouldn't make any sense. Has a anybody seen? Grow. Does anybody who's seen cars? I know that there's a joke in Cars <laughs> where they, two of the girls, they flash Lightning McQueen. As yeah. If the, the cars have breasts. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Those, it's very, 
which is probably one of the more adult jokes that have made it into a Pixar probably. movie ever. Yeah. I'm seeing a little car in in an image here. And it's just like a little that oh, doesn't baby, make any it's sense. It's a smaller car, yeah. Doesn't like make, in between that, bigger cars. I'm sorry. Fuck off. That doesn't make any sense. Here we go. Here's the so there was an article like, on Den of Geek where they talk about it and they say where do little cars come from? And they say uh, how do the cars procreate and make new cars? Is it the case of the boss baby, like offspring popping off of a production line? Is that uh, what happens in that movie? Yeah. Yes. In heaven. Kind of. Okay. They, or they made heaven. in heaven and they get swung. Uh, for, yeah. For uh, or do mommy car and daddy car have a quiet moment in the garage where they play with each other's respective exhausts? Pretty good. It says, as discussed, the cars clearly have some organic qualities to them, and thus vehicular intercourse is not out of the question. But then the follow-up question is, how does a car give birth to a new car? Because that sounds like it could get a bit messy. Does it pop out of the boot or something? What does mommy car look like when she's six months pregnant? Given that they are... What's that? The baby cars are delivered by Torx. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, very good <laughs> where'd, where'd, where'd Nick go where'd Nick go <laughs> he went to go get more alcohol <laughs> I need a drink that was one of my favorite jokes Elliot, ever that's very good uh, it also says given that there <laughs> so good. given good. that there appear to be no human beings at all why does pretty much every vehicle in the cars film have a door yeah see whoa going back to the theory posited on the dark origins of the films that suggest that the vehicles ultimately became sentient and realized it didn't need human beings anymore oh my god is this what elon musk's cars will become this is what tesla's tesla's are the precursor to cars perhaps the cars universe didn't they uh you guys talked about a um uh, a robot that they just uh a lot that could procreate yeah that's right it's just two and two. Uh oh. No, it's it's over, you guys. It's over. Life's over. It says, uh, where, where the vehicles ultimately became sentient and realized it didn't need human beings anymore. Thus, the cars take on the personality of the last human to drive them. How that applies to new cars bought in a non human world is a fork that I could lose another few hundred words on. So, so do you think there was oh. a car instigated human extermination? Well, there's all these theories, yeah, that there was some kind of big, big war between cars and humans. Mm. <laughs> they just need to someday make that movie. Yeah, wouldn't that be like awesome the, if they just made the first ever? Yeah. How a for how the yeah, car it's became. like a prequel to Cars where it's <laughs> like, like literally humans are battling cars, and then how about this? What happens at the end of that movie is humans, the remaining humans, go underground. And then throughout the whole rest of the Cars franchise, we can assume that there are still humans living like underground. And then you do an, a, a sequel to all the Cars movies and that prequel where the humans come back to the surface and there's a new big war between the Cars. But then it ends up they live harmoniously again because you got to have that happy Pixar ending, right? They live somebody somebody so it's usually a child because it's got to be innocence and it represents the purity of innocence and all that and la- a lack of of um, corruption and they start the whole thing where it's like we need to live together and then they live together and then it kind of goes cyclical back to the to the world we live in where we live harmoniously. So what do you with cars. see the happy ending being? Do they get to humans still get to be inside cars and drive them around? I, I think like, they ride feels... them like horses. All right. <laughs> Yeah, straddling the top of the car. <laughs> this is a good middle ground. Hey, Jay. This is a good middle ground. <laughs> Hold on back there. Whoa. It's, it's kicking. <laughs> and then the Disney ride comes out where they just they yeah, put things on good. top of the car. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, the whole thing could be done animatrix style. Just give us a bunch of like different animators taking on different slices of the story. Oh, yes. I'm in. I'm in. Yes. Give it um, to me. <laughs> so uh okay so let's see if there's one more interesting one about what scene what movie should have had a sex scene uh the movie sex tape had zero sex scenes did it is what this says they just made a tape but you never saw what was on and then it says yeah but does the sex scene would have been cameron diaz and jason siegel does anyone really need to see that 
kind of rude to to Ooh, one of them. Very kind mad. of rude to one of them. I'll check it out. I mean, just so they feel good about themselves. Yeah, exactly. You know, I'm willing to take one for the team. Check this mm. out. The island had a sex scene, but Scarlett Johansson wanted to show her breasts, and Michael Bay turned her down. I believe we'll find it's actually Steven Spielberg. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Read down. Keep reading. Yeah, it's just hold out. Happens. Yeah, Read it'll it'll show up. This. Spielberg made Bay fire her after she called Bay Hitler. Whoa! Did you guys know that? Sorry? I don't know what. I can't tell how much of this is just made up. Stuff oh no! Or... This is this is Megan Fox. This is about Megan Fox. So Megan Fox wanted to show her breasts. No, no, no. Scarlett Johansson is in a movie called The Island. Yes. Yes. And there was supposed to be a sex scene. And Scarlett Johansson wanted to show her breasts, and Michael Bay turned her down. And that then sounds it, like a post Michael Bay would post. And then it <laughs> yeah. says here. No, I said no. But someone I says here. Said, no, thank you, Scarlett. Uh, he's a very strange individual. Megan Fox hated him, and that's why she didn't make a third Transformers movie. Oh. And then everyone said, actually, someone else said that's not true. She was fired because she called uh, – uh, she called uh, Michael, Michael Bay. Bay Hitler. Okay. okay. You just don't throw those Hitlers around, you know? Not around Spielberg, that's for sure. You just don't do Why? that. Why? I mean, you just don't do it, yeah. Why not in front of Spiel Spielberg, Steve? Well, because, the... you know, he's the seminal <laughs> kind of like auteur Jewish, uh, highly respected Jewish director. <laughs> Uh, who directed <laughs> Schindler's List, and okay. you know, and he's he's actually seen as a uh, a major key player in um, the future of Jewish knowledge base, Jewish in, uh, uh, entertainment. Yeah, huh. pretty good way of saying it. Emmerich's 2012, The End of the World Masterpiece, could have dealt with about a billion <laughs> oh, extra sex yeah. scenes. Oh, as the world yeah. is falling apart, hell people yeah. are just going to town. They realize all these simultaneous happenings mean that it's all over. So they're trying to get one last fling in. We're seeing people in tornadoes just going to town. We're seeing people getting sucked into the I earth love when in an orgy ball. <laughs> having sex in the tornado while they're spinning around. Good. Like it. Like it. They didn't want to get interrupted. You know? We're just going to take it to the next level and really just get down to the core of humanity. <laughs> That's the core of humanity king. is that we just want to bone. Yeah. Yep. Um, do you guys want to know what is the top comment on what's a scary fact you know about the ocean? Not really. Yeah. Yeah, I do. All right. Nick, close your eyes. Uh, if you pass a certain level. <laughs> if you pass a certain level underwater, you can no longer float to the surface. You have to use all your strength to swim back up, which can use up too much oxygen and you can suffocate. Yeah, because you're just getting yeah, it's gravity. so much pressure yeah. and gravity. Suck, wow. pushing down on you at the same time. That that it truly is a frightening thing to be like, oh, I'm in this submersible vehicle, and if something just goes a little bit wrong, <clears throat> you're just yep. it just all caves Pressure, in on itself. Yeah, yep, and you're just done. You're gone. And the it and says it says you're forty feet is how deep you can go. Ah, wow, it's a lot less than I was expecting. Yeah, yeah, me too. A lot less. Have you guys seen that um di that that like computer animation that shows the depth of the ocean and it shows like it'll show like from like 10 feet and it just keeps going and going and then what areas are this deep and then it says like here's the statue of liberty and yeah. then it has the empire yeah. state building and then it's i have like not the seen that in the world. yeah it's very eerie it's like oh it makes you feel like a little vertigo when you long watch story it. short it's, it's so very deep, deep. <laughs> it's very it's a very, very deep, deep ocean very deep video <laughs> And someone says here, what's scary is all the stuff we don't know about the ocean, which is oh, kind oh, of an man. interesting hole. A, That's a whole rabbit hole. We got a book writer in the Reddit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch out. out. Uh, <laughs> someone says here, that there's a reason for why it's hard to learn about the ocean and the ocean floor. And one thing is just visibility. You can't far look down. through a water <laughs> column. It's way too far. Yeah, it's a little, yeah. It's just way a little down deep. There. The short answer yeah. is way too far. Too much water. <laughs> uh, oh, how about this? 
Greenland sharks can live up to be up to 500 years old. Wow. wow. For 500 years, they're just swimming around doing sharky stuff. My grandpa stuff. lived to be 500 years old, actually. I don't believe really? you. That's amazing. I'm sorry. Nick, I won't be saying right. that. I don't Nick, believe that's you. a medical miracle. We should probably talk to some scientists. It's pretty, I thought it was pretty regular. No, it's not. It's okay. We'll, it's fine. We'll, we'll talk you, about it. What after. do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> I think we're on the you same page. Huh? I think we're on the same page. Oh, how about this piece of interesting information about the ocean? There's a floating trash island as big as France. Yep. Mm-hmm. Cool. The, gar- <laughs> the garbage cool. That doesn't make me feel bad at all. Garbage uh, patch I'm is sorry, fun. that's rad. That's garbage island. And that's where I go to flip some sick tricks on my bike and skateboard. <laughs> you guys ever see that Muppet movie, Garbage Island? Yeah, <laughs> Elmo really and Garbage, <laughs> Elmo and Garbage Island. <laughs> oh, all right, he was well. thrown out by some child that didn't love him anymore, and he woke up in Garbage <laughs> Island. It's a good movie. Yeah, it is it. great. It had really? a happy ending. Mm. Uh, dude, that hashtag, movie needed a sex scene. Hashtag uh, <laughs> Team C's and Mr. Beast and all that. You guys got know what they were doing with that, right? What? Uh, the, like the, yeah, the trash? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Beast trash and Team C's. I've been uh, I've fallen down a slight Mr. Beast rabbit hole lately and just kind of been fascinated with how he's been a the way he makes videos. He basically makes trailers for videos that are videos that have a billion views in a week. Um, The storytelling is very like ADD, just very fast paced and you feel like you're not getting it all. But the storytelling, he gets you from beginning to the end. But anyways, more importantly, he is this perfect example of somebody. And there's a lot of YouTubers out there right now that I've been thinking about in this regard that like nothing's too big. Like there's no fear in the dream and to go for something like there's no, nothing that inhibits him. He's like, okay, we're going to try and take 30 million pounds of trash out of the ocean. And then the motherfucker does it like, well, yeah, it's money, isn't it? It's crazy. It's money. It's, yeah. If you it's have the, money, you can do anything. Which is, much. but it's like having the, the conscience to have money and also be wanting to do that like so many people who have money don't like it's it's mm. it's he's a i think he's a very smart individual it's uh he's very young too he's only 23 yeah young guy I, wow. he, he, what I thought he was fuck? in his really i thought he was in his 30s yeah young guy. jesus christ you see his grandpa this, though is like is even like younger. six thousand like years old years like 500 <laughs> yeah <laughs> Passed away at 500. Pretty regular thing, guys. Yeah. I, don't what, I, don't know what I don't know if it's regular, but... No, it's a pretty regular thing. I don't know what... You, you know. Uh, <laughs> you guys want to just sit Dude, in the, silence uh, till the end of the podcast? I would love that. What is that, like five more minutes? <laughs> end of the, this is the last podcast of the year, right? So we can just... Just have a <laughs> moment of silence? I like that the Christmas music went away a while ago. And just kind of stop. At some point. Uh, the, uh, just to point out, the Squid, Squid Game in Real Life video that he made three weeks ago has 174 million views and that one was kind of polarizing right because there was a lot of controversy surrounding people who are jealous (laughs) (laughs) Uh, you just uh, gotta say sentences sometimes and i like uh, it that was real funny that's good it's good uh okay i'm gonna try to find a good would you rather here to end off the show and then we'll say goodbye to everybody and happy holidays um this one of course we're putting in the bank uh because you know we're all going off to do things for the holidays merry christmas merry christmas and uh happy holidays to all you if you know if it's not christmas it's some kind of holiday happy holidays happy holidays happy holidays um, but, uh, yeah, we do love, we do love the holidays around here. We like spending time with our families and, you know, doing all that shit. So we're, we're banking this in the, in the can a little bit in advance. So we hope everybody has a wonderful holiday. Uh, Nick, thank you for joining us, obviously. Hey, thanks, Steve. Thank you for having me. Thank Please you for having me, Steve. this wonderful child on TikTok. Uh, is... Yeah, I guess I've never had to, like, shout out my TikTok username before. I think it's nic.hamilton. I think yeah. that's it. And if you just type in Nick Hamilton yeah. into the search, you'll find him. He's the top uh, uh, search result. And you've got the N-I-C. little... N-I-C. Yeah, my uh, profile. H-A-M-I-L-T-O-N. 
<laughs> we're, we're gonna get sued by Disney. Uh, but yeah, what's that picture? It's a character it's from the Meet the Robinsons. Meet the Robinsons. Meet the Robinsons. And that, like that, that Meet the Robinsons doesn't get a lot of love these oh, days. Oh, one of the best animated movies of all it's time. It's so wonderful, and the message is so wonderful. And at the end, it's kind of all about that whole like you know using your brain and. So uh, good. Stuff like that, which is always a good message, and it's very, good. very, very good movie. Anybody Being true to your wacky, weird self? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. For me, the Robinsons. Would you rather? And this is for all you guys. Even you, Sorry, Elliot. I was looking at this uh, woman's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I... is she dancing around her and with her husband? She's dancing around her uh, <laughs> open her, casket. Her grandfather, funeral. who lived a very long time, died, and she's in the uh, the hospital room. No, room. she's not. That's not true. Dancing. No. Not true. <sighs> anyway, look, I I don't want to shit on joy because especially during the holidays, and I think there is a type of joy derived from dance, of course observing and uh, partaking in that uh but maybe we don't put it on the internet uh, not everything has to maybe go on not the everything internet. has to go on the internet you can dance around your sick grandpa or baby if you want but it's weirder if you don't put it on the internet no it's weirder to no, just do because, it <laughs> you know i don't think it is weirder if you don't put it on the internet you know why because we don't we didn't ever have to know about it but imagine just you're a nurse and you walk in is she if, an, if a not self-aware woman dances around a sick baby in the woods, does anybody care <laughs> <laughs> that it happened? <laughs> I'm right. going to go into a slightly deeper deep dive onto that channel just to make sure it's not satire. Well, There's a 5% back. chance that's satire. <laughs> that yeah. fucking, was that her pregnant, Elliot, and dancing? Uh -huh. that her having Makes labor. me think there's some satire here. <laughs> okay. Just, you can go to my account just look at who I'm following. You'll find her. Really Is it cool. safe to dance around? Person. I don't know if you can do Is it safe to dance? like that while you're pregnant anybody know we'll call Heather okay <laughs> which curse okay here we go would you rather this is a would you rather which mm. curse would you rather have for the rest of your life you can't get out of this you're getting one of these curses god damn it sorry no you way to bring in the new year you have non-stop nightmares whenever you sleep fuck me <laughs> Jesus an invisible entity stalks you. God, scarier. Your reflection wants to kill you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All animals hate you. Mm. Nobody can understand what you're saying. <laughs> oh my God. Some or, of these aren't even the same. <laughs> I know. You're right. Some of these are. So extreme. <laughs> and the last one, your skin is immune to soap and water. Reflection <laughs> wants to kill me. Immune in what way? It, like it just doesn't. Soap and water does nothing to your skin. Okay. It doesn't make it clean. I mean, it doesn't make it smell nice. My reflection can hate me and show me all sorts of ways it wants to kill me as long yeah, as I don't can. have any of that other stuff. But yeah, can your reflection right, kill I you? I, I'm agreeing. Which I don't one think it can kill you. The reflection just wants to kill me. Great. Yeah, the only thing that sucks, fine. every time you see it, it's just like, it's just like teasing you. God, I guess, I guess you're right. I guess I'll go with all animals hate me. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying choice. you get over it. <laughs> That's the second yeah. choice. Yeah, I think that, it's close I, enough it's, now. Yeah. Go ahead. Speaking of fun TikTok channels, uh, do you guys check out the guy whose reflection wants to kill him? Yeah. <laughs> that, you, make, you make so much money off of it. Shut up. Um, so here's the thing. The top vote from all of this uh, subreddit was an invisible entity stalks you. As if. Absolutely not. That's the worst one. But here's why. They say the top question was, does this invisible entity want to kill me or does he just hang around? And Still? the OP says it just stares at you without blinking. The worst. And then the he says, worst. is it invisible to everyone except me? And then the OP says, nobody at all can see it, but it can open your door to get in your room or bathroom for a better view of you. And this is the one everybody picked. No. 2.4 thousand people 
2.4 thousand chose an invisible entity stock suit. Those are people who've never seen a shadow person. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> or had sleep They're paralysis. They're not a laughing matter. Yeah. Um, it doesn't sound like this person has really thought it through. So that they, you, they can stare at you. And they don't but, close your eyes, but you can't see them. You can't see them. But they're they, not really staring. You can't know. But, no but, one knows that they're but staring. But like, yeah, but the, they'll open doors and stuff. And yeah, that's, that's that fine. That sucks. But it feels like they're, uh, they're just kind of making it up on the fly. Yes, know? yeah. Damn. That's what these most most of these are. And, your doors and, are opening. Your windows are opening. Like, ah. Nah, yeah, all the that. time. It's like they could fuck with you all day and just close and open a door for hours. My reflection kind of wants to kill it. me anyway. Uh, yeah, sex. yeah. What's the difference than my reflection right now? <laughs> my reflection well, kind of wants to. I want to kill my reflection now. You know. In yeah. fact, second place was your reflection wants to kill you with one point okay. four thousand votes. It's way too far behind. I think I uh, uh, nightmares is second. I think nightmares is third. Second. Is nightmares nonstop right, nightmares? Because that's fine. I could live with that. Oh, I don't know. Like you think back to like your worst nightmares. Oh no, sorry. How much they mess with you. Third is your skin is immune to soap and water with yeah, I think that one's fine. Yeah, because there's other ways to stay clean. Hmm. Fire. Yeah, burn yourself. Burn your germs. Mm -hmm. Burn the germs. Burn guys, the germs. here at the you, Valley. You guys remember River. that 80s campaign? From yeah. Some burn the germs. President's yeah. wife. Here at the Valley <laughs> folk, we Reagan. fully support burn the germs. Burn the germs. burning the germs. <laughs> burn the germs. <laughs> yeah. That big bear came out and he was like, don't burn the germs. Yeah. Uh, we're all about burning the germs here. And if you don't know what we're talking about, just Google it. This all is right, your brain on. on drugs. Burn the germs. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, listen. We love you all. Have a happy holiday. Nick, thank you so much for being a guest on the thank show. Thank you Kevin. for having me, Steve and Elliot and Joe from the Valley Folk. Um, thank you, Best Nick. of luck to you and your alcoholic endeavors and your thank acting you. endeavors. I'm going to drink all of this now. Okay, Yay. don't do that. Nice, man. You want to play Fortnite, Nick? <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. <laughs> all right, happy well. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy, New Year. happy yeah. holidays. We hope you're, it's Christmas. all bright and beautiful, and we hope you have a wonderful time with your family yeah. and friends or your own and whatever you're Hit up to. Hit us with some New Year's resolutions in the comments. Give us some ideas for things that we should do to improve our lives. <laughs> really close to the camera, Nick. Just wanted to really hear Jeff. Merry Christmas, boys. Merry Christmas.